honey. It's a cold red, a cold red, honey, a conditional alert red, however you want to look at it, honey. And my Beyonce voice, it's been an explosion, honey. It's been an explosion on social media. And we need to sound the alarm, bring the fire trucks, because it's a roaring fire out there. And it has uh, come from Daily Mail News, People News, Guide, and a, a few other outlets. But I'm going to go with Daily Mail because they sound the alarm by putting it on my uh, social media feed where it's just coming across. And I said, okay, let me give Daily Mail a little checky, checky, looky, looky, look see. Okay. But, honey, it's none other than Gabrielle Union clocking tea. She is slapping folks down with her verbal words. And they stinging, honey. Almost like you got your face slapped. Because she ain't taking no prisoners. She like, you ain't going to talk about my my family. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. But, see, again, that's what we're saying when we put this stuff out on social media. Some of it could be very delicate. And this situation is a very delicate situation. It's talking about uh, one of his sons wanting to be a female now, changing the gender and all of that. And, of course, this gender is being changed in their formative years, their puberty years. I think the young man is, what, 12, 13 years old, from what I'm understanding, just looking at pictures of his uh, sons. Because they only had one daughter, I believe, and that's the one they had together through surrogacy, I believe. Um, which is, uh, what's her name? Uh, Kavaya, something like that. Beautiful young lady. Has, you know, beautiful sons as well. But it seems like his son wanted to change his gender. And um, technically, he is a boy changing into a female. So, the whole thing is being made up of Dwayne, Dwayne Wade, uh, the children's father or the child's father, and uh, Gabby or Gabrielle, however y'all see her. She's a stepmom, but she's claiming that, hey, I'm, it ain't no step. I'm mom all the way. Ain't got no problem with that either. Unless the real mama is still living and in the picture. Then I'm like, baby girl, they only have one mama now. If she ever become deceased or whatever, I guess you could take that role. But in my eyes, you still stepmom, okay? Don't put the mama out. She deserved that title, honey. I'm from old school and that's just how I see things. But it seems like Dwayne Wade, Dwayne Wade had put out a picture. One of his baby girl who was born, you know, biologically uh, made up female. And his son that's transitioning into a female situation. I don't know if he's going to cut off all his body parts downstairs and, you know, make that penis into a, a, a vagina. Or I, I don't know if it's going to go that far, but he's actually is trying to change his appearance from looking like boyish to girlish. So Dwayne, Dwayne had took a picture of both uh, of his young, well, his daughter and his uh, son, and he said, uh, my girls. And, of course, we know Kobaya as well as Gabrielle, a female bi biological. And then we got the son over there who's transitioning, but he's saying his girls just to show a united front that he accepts his son transitioning into a uh, female. Now, that's why all the stuff hit the fan. And I'm like, I don't understand why Gabrielle is clocking, trying to clock people's heads, ring their heads, or throw stones at them because that, technically he is out of order when he's saying his girls because, no, he has a boy transitioning into a girl and he has two biological girls or women, one woman, one girl. So Gabrielle ain't liking none of that. And she's coming out full force telling everybody, they pretty much can go to hell. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, got to respect her opinion and her viewpoint on this subject. She's trying to have that united front and everybody's supporting the male who's trying to transition into a female because that's the way he feel he was born or that's the way he want to be at this time. <laughs> Eliza. And so that's where we come with this salacious hot topic story. Now, we're going to go on and get into this article because, you know, hey, 
It is what it is. It seems like everybody changed it up. It ain't like, oh, I felt like this. I, I was born like this. It's more so, let me just try and see how this works out. I'm not too much feeling that I'm a boy or girl. I want to change to the other gender. And let me see how that rolls. And if they don't really roll, then I'm going to roll back to what I was biologically made when I came into this world. That's my only point. I'm like, do are we having this type of... Uh, understanding, coming up minds that we just need to be who we want to be at said time. And then if it don't cooperate with how we thought it would be, we're going to switch back. See, I got a problem with that. Because then it's like you're not really in your essence of who you say you are. You just want to play here and play there. You know what I'm saying? So I I, I, I just don't buy into it because there's too many people just jumping on that bandwagon. Like, I'm going to do what I want to do. And that's just the way it is. It ain't like how people used to say back in my day, but this is what I feel like. I've always felt this way, even when I was five or six or seven. You know what I'm saying? I really felt I needed to be out of this uh, creation of what I was born in and, and want to submit and be in this other uh, body of a sense. So I'm like, okay, studies have been done and you can take it for what it's worth. You still have your feelings, your opinions, your beliefs. But when it's all done and said, I just think everybody is running rapid now out here. And they just want to be a part of the sheep and do what other people are doing just to get their kicks and their feels about it. You know, I'm like, come on now. Let's find some some uh, seriousness in this because this gender hopping thing, you know, that, that's just a bit too much for me. But since I, you know how I feel about it, because uh, I think everybody should be loved. Nobody should be stigmatized on this is where they feel they are, and we shouldn't accept them. You know, no, you still have to love them and try to understand. Is it something like a fad they're going through, or do they actually feel this way? And have they been feeling this way for a long time? You know, you got to do some counseling. You got to try to understand and get in the groove with their understanding, their perception of the thing. And then you can go further on with either dialogue or trying to, you know, make it to where they're happy. But, you know, you can't just say you want to do this for six months and then six months after that, no, I want to go back to where I was. Then you're just playing. You know what I'm saying? Then I have a problem with people like that because it's very serious for others who really are into that transition and that's the way they feel, you know, versus someone that I'm going to try this and I'm going to see how it work out and, and see what I'm missing. You know, I'm like, you want to try weed because everybody said that's the thing to do or you want to drink for the first time because that's your rite of passage. No, 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 no. Okay. Well, let's get on into this story. It was written by David Lawrence uh, from Daily Mail. He's an employee over there writing up this story. It was titled, Gabrielle Union Claps Back at Online Criticism of Her Family After Dwayne Wade Captioned Snap, Including Zion, My Girls. Now, of course, you can go over to their social media pages. You know, I don't really like showing kids unless they are more so like 16, 17, 18 years old or really 17, 18. And they just plastering stuff, you know, on their own. But, you know, people that are so little, so uh, they're in their formative years. We don't want to put them out blasting like that because, you know, like I said, they may feel this way one day. Then two years down the road, they be like, uh-uh, uh, 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 you know, then you already got caught up because shit is out here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's for anybody and everybody to see on a return, uh, 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 we call it a recurring basis because it's just archived. Nothing goes off social media. It just stays there. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, you may feel this way on your sexuality today. You may not feel that way one year from now. You just you just never know, okay? But anyway, uh, evidently, it's on Dwayne Wade's uh, Instagram account, probably Facebook. I don't know. Uh, but if you go to Daily Mail or People, Google Gary, Gabrielle Union claps back. I'm sure you're going to find a salacious story written by some uh, eager, beager of a journalist to break their story and get their fortune and fame. Okay? But, uh, yeah. Let's go on into the article. It says, Dwayne Wade previously declared that the family he shares with wife Gabrielle Union support each other with pride. Okay? Uh, I'm guessing they're ping, pinging off gay pride of some sort. They says, and Union showed that pride on Tuesday when she quickly shut down any hint of criticism stemming from a social media posting a social media posting of way that he posted on his uh, social media platform. I'm guessing it might have been on Twitter, but I'm thinking it's Instagram or Twitter. Because uh, I don't know if you can show pictures on Twitter. 
Uh, but anyway, try to go on his Instagram account. Anyway, it goes on to say the post in question showed his uh, L.A.'s finest star wife with their 11-month-old daughter, Kavaya, and his 12-year-old Zion with the caption, my girls, heart emojis. Now, see, like I said, you're going to push it out there, put it out right now because you got fact checkers and you got people checking your I's and your T's, make sure they dot it and cross. And if it don't sound right, they're going to come after you. And that's pretty much what they have done. Instead of he saying his um, 12 year old son transforming or, or, or going towards transgendering himself into a female, that would have been a little bit more accurate. So everybody's jumping on um, what he posted out there. And it's like a side picture of uh, his son, Zion, and his daughter, Kabaya, and uh, Gabrielle's in the middle. And um, it's just a whole little salacious story about Gabrielle Union going to shut down the Internet because she don't want nobody coming after her son who's transferring or transgendering uh, into a female from a male status. It says one person had captured the image from Wade's. In yeah, okay, see, it's on his Instagram account, Instagram story, and posted it on Twitter along with the caption, What y'all think about this? Okay, now you know people are going to be thinking and they're going to be saying and they're going to speak their mind because you don't put it on social media. Now, if you didn't put it on social media from the get go, from str Front Street, you wouldn't have these issues. But when you do stuff like that, you know it's a, what we call it, a reaction. It's going to have. An action is going to have a reaction. Um, when you post something, you're going to get something posted bad. It's just the yin and the yang, okay? So, anyway, go back to the article on somebody called The Lash Plug. Uh, made it doll or something. She posted on her account. Look, looks like love to me, shrug emoji. I truly hope that everyone gets the love, support, and hugs they deserve. Referring to her baby girl's fierce look. She's added, also, Kavaya ain't with the dumb ish. Peace and blessings, God, people. Good people. And then um, this one, uh, I guess, fan or follower, what do you call it? Posted, or what do you call it? Um, what do you call it? It's click and paste and posted it to her account. And she's asking for anybody to inquire who's on her page. What do they think about this story? Okay, so... Um, Gabrielle got upset about it. Um, it says Union and Wade took all their kids to support Zion at the Miami Pride Parade this spring. Dwayne, Dwayne shared a photo from the parade with Union, Zion, his 17 year old brother Zaire, and even baby Kavaya, plus other family and friends. Um, Zaire posted a photo with him and Zion on his, his own Instagram Page stating, got your back, kid, support game. Wade shared that image on his own Instagram story stating, Zion had his own cheering section today, which I was there to see you smile, kid. It's a family thing. Okay, because we all know he had three boys. Uh, and one of them is transitioning, and they're getting all sorts of flack. So that is the big deal. She came out clapping at it and everybody like, you ain't going to mess with my family. If my family want to look like you know, the rainbow tree, that's what they're going to be, okay? I'm like, I'm there for you. I'm there for you. I hear what you're saying. But put the shit out there right because you're going to have fact checkers come and say this, that, and the third and get it right. Get it, you know, post it right. And, you know, like I said, just looking at, you know, comment aside, yeah, you do want to say, you know, yes, he was biologically a boy, okay? But he's transitioning into a girl. Now, if you got something to deal with, you come talk to the grown folks. That's me. But, you know, you got to let people say what they're going to say because they're going to say it anyway. You know, if you felt like you need to come out and write your own story before it really got out there, then okay, there's no file on the plate. Go on and do you. But that's all I have for this story, you all. I thought it was kind of interesting. Uh, these uh, parents bringing out these children on Front Street, they don't know, you know. But I'm like, I'm glad you're going to be there for them because they're definitely going to need some counseling because, just because they feel one way and they think they secure, that when they go out there and you ain't with them, are they going to be secure? Are they going to stand in their own shit or who they are? Are they really, really built for that type of life and that scrutiny and that criticism and all that hate is going to come their way? You know, have you uh, built them up for that, Dwayne and Gabrielle? 
Dwayne, well, Dwayne, yeah, and Gabrielle, have y'all did that fortitude? Uh, actually, do they have that type of pride in them and and um, resilience to make it to that point where they don't give a crap what somebody thinks about them? Because right now, that young man is in his formative years. We don't know. You're putting a lot of pressure on him. So I guess, I hopefully you got him in some counseling. Okay. But anyway, that's all I had. Y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about this. The parents of Zion, you know, putting him out there on Front Street, you know. And, and they saying they got his back. And in a hurry, if anybody try to attack, they going to attack back with him. I don't know what y'all think, honey. Y'all know what I felt about it because I gave y'all a brief synopsis of what I feel. Y'all tell me what y'all feel and we'll go from there. But I hope you enjoyed the video and you know I'll be back. All right. Peace and blessings. And remember, it's a family affair. It's a family affair. Yes. And don't forget to subscribe to me. Subscribe to me. And then again, subscribe to me. All right. Y'all be blessed. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.